one of the best parts of this job is going to be, I can't wait till the debate. <laughs> so. <laughs> Look, I, I've done this enough, and I know bullies, uh, and I'm not a name caller, but what I am as a teacher, I observe things. So I want to tell you, what I observed and you've deserved about, observed about these guys when you see them, that it's a very clear thing. Yes, they are creepy and, and weird as hell. You see it. You see it. This is not normal. This is not normal behavior. Nobody's asking for this crazy stuff. Wait, hold on a minute. Didn't this guy want to put tampons in boys' bathrooms? And now he's calling someone else creepy and weird. <laughs> the nerve. You know it's bad when even CNN Jake Taper has to call him out for his insults. This is getting unbelievable. Let me ask you a question because um, there's this... Uh... I'm hesitant to even bring it up, but there's this gross online smear about J.D. Vance involving couches, okay? Um, and the, the only reason I cite it uh, is because Governor Waltz made a reference to it during his introduction speech uh, yesterday. And I got to tell you, I can't wait to debate the guy. That is, if, you, if he's willing to get off the couch and show up. So... <laughs> A clear reference to this gross smear. So, I, I mean, whatever happened to Michelle Obama's when they go low, we go higher. <laughs> I think Democrats have abandoned that a long time ago. Look, I get it. Uh, politics is a brutal sport. This is like a boxing match. And we're trying to see if we can get the knockout first. And they're trying to do the same. Uh, and let's see what happens in November, Jake. But I'm not surprised by it. What do you think? I love Michelle Obama, but she's not in this race. They're <laughs> running against Donald J. Trump. Knockout? Yeah, oh, okay. Good luck with that. It's crazy to me how they're up there acting all innocent. Like if this is their first time hitting below the belt to try to discredit their opponent. But hey, I guess they should definitely try some better insults because JD isn't letting any of it get to him. Look, what I what, what really bothers me about Tim Waltz, it's not even the positions that he's taken, though certainly he has been a far left radical. You know what really bothers me about Tim Waltz as a Marine who served his country in uniform? When the United States Marine Corps, when the United States of America asked me to go to Iraq to serve my country, I did it. I did what they asked me to do it, and I did it honorably, and I'm very proud of that service. When Tim Waltz was asked by his country to go to Iraq, you know what he did? He dropped out of the army and allowed his unit to go without him, a fact that he's been criticized for aggressively by a lot of the people that he served with. I think it's shameful to prepare your unit to go to Iraq, to make a promise that you're going to follow through, and then to drop out right before you actually have to go. I also think it's dishonest. Something, again, if you guys ever get an opportunity to ask Tim Waltz or Kamala Harris some questions, he made this interesting comment that the Kamala Harris campaign put out there, and I bet they're regret regretting they put it out there now, because he said that we, and he was making a point about gun control, he said we shouldn't allow weapons that I used in war to be on America's streets. Well, I wonder, Tim Waltz, when were you ever in war? When was this, what was this weapon that you carried into war given that you abandoned your unit right before they went to Iraq and he has not spent a day in a combat zone? What bothers me about Tim Waltz is the stolen valor garbage. Do not pretend to be something that you're not. And if he wants to criticize me for getting an Ivy League education, I'm proud of the fact that my mammal supported me, that I was able to make something of myself. I'd be ashamed if I was him and I lied about my military service like he did. Wow. Lying about your services and leaving your comrades right before deployment? Now, that's beyond disloyal and definitely not cool and this is the guy they're standing behind right look the facts here speaks for themselves jd has every right to be proud of his service and it's clear he takes his responsibilities very seriously and on the other hand these people well they seem more focused on attacking character rather than presenting real solutions that's not leadership ladies and gentlemen it's called deflection but hey, that's just my opinion. Let me know what y'all think about this in the comments below. And if you want to see Tommy Loran take on The View, trust me, you won't want to miss this video. Looking back, if you said X, Y, and Z over here, why are we not to believe that now this policy is intended to, in fact, ban Muslims, which you said? Is that not his biggest issue? I think that it is. I mean, for Trump, rhetoric is usually the problem, and it's usually the basis of the problem. But I like to look to policy more than just talk. And when we're talking about campaign promises, wasn't it President Obama that said, if you like your health insurance, you can keep that's it? I mean, think fair. some things. Well, one thing he said, and they keep bringing it no, up over fair. and over that's again. Fair. But what about Trump says something crazy every what day. About